Hey, what's going on, guys? From Hobby Japan and Orange Cat Industries, we've got the latest version of the X Career model kit out here. Now, I've reviewed a couple different versions of the X Career before. I really like this kit a lot. It's very cool, one that I can highly recommend to you guys. As you know, I'm not really super into SD stuff, but this kit, it's like an SD kind of model kit, but it still has like all the style and all the attitude of like a full size uh, kit basically. So it's really, really cool. This latest version, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the name of it, but just going by the Japanese here, I guess, it looks like uh, Weisseravin. So there you go. I guess that's the name, Weisseravin, maybe. Hopefully that's pretty close. Anyway, it looks awesome. Let's go ahead and check it out here for today's video. But all right, so we got some cool box art here on the front with all our titling over here off to the side, Super Robot Heroes 03. And there you can see the full illustration of the mecha design right there with some clear blue effect parts against a white and kind of a bluish gray kind of color there for the frame and mechanical detail parts, it looks like. And around on the ends of the box, we got kind of the same thing there. The back side is just blank. On the top of the box, we've got some text here and more illustration work of the design front and back there you can see it's a very sword centered design in this case whereas other ones have been like a little bit differently styled going back around to the other side we've got some more images of the actual model kit here close-up detail of the face and then front and back view of the fully built and painted kit here an action shot right there basically kind of recreating well i guess it's a little bit different from the box art there on the front and then over here, what the kit is going to look like completely unpainted, just built straight out of the box. And then over here, look at a kind of like variation in how you can make it in a couple of different ways if you preferred a little bit different look for that. But we're going to build it up kind of as it's shown there on the box art here, of course. So let's go ahead and pop open the box here on the inside. We've got all of our runners and this being an SD kit, it has quite a few more runners, quite a few more parts than your standard like Bandai SD. And with this being a variation, we probably will have plenty of leftover parts as well. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the plastic model kit instruction manual here. So on the outside of the instruction manual, nothing really too much to see. It is kind of quite thick feeling, about 20 pages or so. On the inside, again, the illustration front and back with some text there, information about the different weaponry that we have included here as well. Again, like I said, it's very like sword centered, although we do have the same rifle that we've had included with past versions before and there's again showing how you can change to the different version if you prefer on the next page here a couple more sample images and then our parts list and there you can see whoa these blacked out sections are going to be leftover parts you can see there's going to be quite a few leftover parts like i was just saying but there we've got uh, some new parts as well on the new runners but then we're getting into the construction and it's a pretty straightforward construction like i said there is quite a few parts here but it's uh, it's pretty easy to follow pretty straightforward and then it does show you how to make it as the alternate version here at the back and all the way here on the back page is going to be our color guide for the kiss so there's all the colors right there pretty much just like white uh dark purplish gray and then a couple of different shades of lavender kind of in between but all right let's get into the runners here with the base one this is going to be our base plate in a kind of translucent clear which looks very nice and this one non-articulated arm that we have for that runner a a nice big full runner here of parts in white for the armor runner b here much smaller runner we've got two of those for some more pieces here in white then we got runners c d1 and d2 which are going to be some of our internal structural parts here and joint parts in this dark purple color here you can see runner d1 and then in runner d2 we have two of those and runners e1 and e2 are in a light gray color here we've got two of runner e2 whereas f1 and f2 are going to be all of our clear parts here we have in plain clear that said for runner f1 we do also have in clear blue so for some like the sword blade effect parts you have those in clear blue as well as parts for the visor in the face runner f2 is just the one single clear part which i believe goes in the rifle runners j1 and j2 are more parts here in that dark purple runner j2 we have two of as well runners k1 and k2 here some more parts in white there for the kit runners l1 and l2 some more parts parts here in light gray and then runners m1 and m2 are more clear parts and these we also have in both plain clear or clear blue so you can use the clear blue ones kind of as intended but maybe if you were custom painting this and you wanted those to be in 
clear red or clear yellow, or clear green, whatever you want, you could use these clear parts and paint them with a clear color if you wanted to do that instead. So there's all of our parts. Let's go ahead and check out the kit. All right, guys, here he is all built up. I really enjoy this kit. Every time I've built it, even though it's been just kind of variants of the same design, essentially, this one does have quite a lot of different parts on it and has a very different kind of unique look to it, which is really nice uh, being a variant kit. But here you can see it with all of its weapons and everything kind of loaded up there on it. And I'll show you guys how those are going to look in use with it being essentially an H an SD kit. If you guys have any experience with SD kits, they're not the most poseable, so it's not going to be, you know, super highly articulated or super highly poseable, but it looks fantastic. All the color separation, all the details on there, and then a wide range of mostly blade focused accessories that we have for this one. But let's go ahead and check out all of our accessories first here to get us started off. And so yeah, most of the accessories for this form are going to be right here on the body. As you can see, we've got a couple of the swords stored here on the back, three different different swords and then here on the front of the shoulder these parts which sort of act as like kind of shields right here on the front those can also be removed and you just slide these out like that and that's your handle here for these couple swords and those clear blue parts do look really nice but again just uh, as a reminder you do have all of the clear parts in just plain clear if you wanted to have those in any other different color you could just paint the clear parts and so here's uh, one of our other swords right here and then slotted into these parts here in the backpack are two big swords as you can see our sort of katana looking one here with again really cool blade or I guess if it's a curved blade it's not katana right I don't know you guys can uh, correct me on on that and this bigger thicker one here kind of a big sort of buster sword I guess sort of you can see there is where the hand is gonna fit onto the handle of that one you may notice on a couple of these there is like a stress mark right here from pressing these together some of the parts were kind of tight to press together so you may see a little bit of that stress mark if you want to avoid that just be really careful you may even want to if you're noticing that a peg is like particularly hard to push together take it apart and then like maybe sand it down a little bit just to make that a little bit easier. But those swords are fit right here onto the backpack which has these uh, sub arms which can come out to the front or I guess to make it look like when he's deploying the swords you can actually have it look like it's grabbing the swords off of the backpack off this stored arm right there. Aside from the swords we have some hand options here we have the regular holding hand we also have a set of holding hands where the wrist is slightly bent so that'll be great for your sword holding hands and that's it for the main accessories for this form. But again, of course, just a reminder, you can build it as this alternate form, the original form. I haven't built those parts, but there's different parts like for the front skirts, the shoulder, obviously different parts there for the head, and then some different weapons parts here. So for example, the original rifle here, which is pretty cool, made up of a few different clear parts inside of there. And then also a the original kind of shield and sword combo part here, which has the option where if you didn't want to have the sword, there's like a kind of chainsaw option part for that as well in your clear parts and then other clear parts we've got the clear like a beam saber kind of parts whether you want it like Star Wars style or pointed Gundam style you can choose and then you have a, an additional kind of connector piece that you could use with this now obviously you might want to just mask the blade and then paint the handle so that it's not all entirely clear but those are just sort of like quote unquote leftover parts, which obviously you could absolutely use with this kit. But just to take a closer look at the kit itself, as you can see, the part separation is crazy that you have all these different uh, colors. It's not like a super colorful design, but you have multiple shades of white, gray, and purple in there. And the detail is also really nice. You're not really gonna have too much in the way of seam lines either, just because uh, the part separation is so good. And obviously you'll have like one here right on the back of the head. You can see there's a big seam line there here on the back of the shoulder part, a little seam line there. So we We'll have a few here and there mostly though pretty minimal for a simple kit as it is but there is quite a lot of really nice part separation to give you a lot of great detail on this one now although there is a lot of detail a lot of nice part separation we're not really going to have a whole lot of articulation just with this being still like a kind of a lot of parts packed into a really small space there's not much room for these parts to move and there's just not really a whole lot of articulation built into this anyway just with it being essentially like an sd kit so you don't have a ton of articulation but you can move the head for example up and down the arms are going to be kind of limited as you can see those are just connected via a couple of ball joints there you can bring the arms out to the side pretty well at the waist you're basically just going to have a bit of rotation these skirt parts will move to get out of the way for the legs, but the legs are also gonna be kind of limited as you can kind of bring that up, but then your knee bend, your thigh itself is, is gonna be obviously very short, very small. So you can get like a knee bend, but when the leg is bent versus when the leg is straight, it's really not gonna look all that much entirely different. 
So you can certainly get a number of different poses as we'll see here in just a minute. After this, we'll try out some different poses with the kit and its various weapon rate, but you are going to be slightly limited just because you don't have a ton of articulation built into this kit. Now that said, and as you'll see here, as we're taking a look at a couple of poses just to finish up the review, you can see that it still is going to look really awesome. That's one thing that I've been saying over the course of the last couple of years as I've reviewed a number of different variants of this kit is that I really, really highly recommend it to you guys. Even for me, as I think I always say in these reviews is that I just want to remind you guys, I'm not really one who's super into SD stuff, but I really enjoy this kit and its many variations just because it's really cool, really cool design. It basically gets rid of any of like the kind of cute aspects that you have a lot with like the more SD Gundam kits, for example. And I guess in a way it's really kind of more sort of like a Kotobukiya D style Super Robot Wars kit, essentially. But these kits are really cool and have a really unique style to them, so I like them a lot. Even though they may not necessarily do a whole lot, I think as you can see here, they're still going to look really cool in the few poses that you can do with them, so they're a lot of fun, I think. The included stand I hadn't mentioned about, but that doesn't have any articulation at all in it. It's just a kind of uh, fixed static stand, but it works well to just hold the kit up. It would be nice maybe in a future variation to have a more articulated stand included with these kits. I think that would be nice, but I would think that you would be able to use this with any other just uh, different like Kotobukiya flying base or Bandai action base, whatever. So if you find the included base is just not really working for doing the type of pose that you want, you should be able to use this with any other base as well. But that's about it for this kit. Like I said, the articulation does limit a little bit but all of the different uh, weapons and accessories that we have included with it obviously give you a lot of options there as well so that and the included accessories are quite cool with this kit I really like them a lot especially if you're into the more sword style weaponry sort of akin to like the Gundam Exia or double O Gundam or something for example then I think this particular variant would be right up your alley but let me know your guys thoughts down in the comment section how many of you guys have built one of these kits what do you think about them have you built uh, more than one of the different variants let me know in the comment section if you guys want to check out some for yourself you can check the link in the video description to USA Gundam Store. We've got all sorts of cool stuff there for you guys to check out. And as always, while you're here, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like, making sure that you're subscribed, it also helps out a great deal and really appreciate all your guys' support. Thank you so much. Until next time, hope you guys have a great day. Bye, guys.